All right, uh, hi guys. Um, in this video, I just wanted to uh, show you the basic use of the Socrative Teacher Clicker Student Clicker um, app. Now, if you can see here, I've actually got uh, dual screens set up here, um, just because it's a bit easier to show you this than trying to set up the the two iPads. But uh, although I'm doing this on my on my laptop, it appears exactly the same uh, in the in the apps that you'll use if you choose to use this app. So, um, on the left hand side here, we've got the uh, the teacher set up and on the right hand side is how the student screens will appear um, and I've just got my login details here so I'm just going to log in and, and once you've created an account you'll be able to do this and this brings you to uh, basically your home screen over here uh, on the right the student side nothing's really happening because we haven't told them to do anything yet uh, on the left here you're given a bit of information you're given a, uh, a room number here and, uh, and down the side here is um, some options you've got and um, even further down here is where we can start quizzes that we've that we've already made. So one thing I haven't said is that the purpose of this whole app, is, uh, so this, this website or the app, which you want to choose to use, uh, is to to gain feedback about I guess your student understanding or how they comprehend something. So there's a few different ways you could use this in class. I'm just going to show you the, the basic use of it and then we'll look at how it might be used later on. So for a start, um, what I would normally do at the stage is I would tell the class to enter this room number here. So uh, if I wrote that on the board or, or had it up on the projector, I'd say, right, right guys, in, the, in your room number, can you enter that six digit number? So 476939. And over here, the student would then uh, click on join the room. And they're now in our room, but they're just being told to wait for the teacher to start the activity. So what I'm going to do now is scroll down and start uh, start quiz. All right, and this is um, the next screen that we've got here. We get to select one of the quizzes that we've already made. So prior to the, to the lesson, you may have um, prepared a quiz. It could be, you know, like an exit pass or something like that. So I'm just going to do the uh, the demo quiz here. And then we've got the option of having a student paced quiz or teacher paced quiz. Student paced just means the whole class go through it at their own pace. Uh, so some students might take longer than others to do it. Teacher pace means you control when the questions come up and when they're, when they're to move on. You've also got some things down here about randomising answer choices and, and that's something you can look at if you want uh, choose to have a more detailed look at this. So we'll pick demo quiz, we're going to uh, go at the student pace quiz. So I'll touch on that. And then here we've got our live feedback and I'm just going to touch on live results. And it just says waiting for results. Now you would have seen on the right hand side over here that the uh, student page changed because we've actually started the quiz. So uh, the first question here, one to five, is to enter your first and last name. So we'll just go Joe Blogs and uh, submit. Now as soon as that's done, it moves on to the next question and what you'll see over this side in a second is that it tells us here, it gives us some information about the progress of the student. So I can see uh, there's one student in the room. Um, they haven't completed the quiz yet, but they are one-fifth of the way through it. Haven't done any of the multi-choice questions yet, but if we flip back over, then we'll look, at, we'll look at the first multi-choice question now. So this student would be seeing just the screen on the right here. Which of the following American presidents was not a K-12 or college student? Well, I'm from New Zealand, I don't know anything about American history, so let's just go Ronald Reagan. Oh, not a bad guess. All right, so um, the student gets some automatic feedback there about getting it right, and the option to go into the next question. Over here in the teacher side, we can see that they've got one of three multiple choice questions correct. The two of two fifths uh, of their way through the through the uh, quiz, the student clicks on next question. Next one comes up. Who was Socrates? Okay, so you've got some different multi-choice options there. Click on philosopher again. Got the right answer, and the teacher gets feedback. So this the student has got two from three right of the multi-choice questions, and also three fifths of the way through. Next question. The such and such is a form of inquiry and debate based on asking and answering questions to simulate and engage in class discussion. Well, I do not know what that is, but we'll just call it the hello, whatever that is. Hello is a form of inquiry. All right, and we're going to submit that. And again, teacher feedback. Now we will see this change in a second. Progress, four-fifths of the way through, and two, two of the three multi-choice questions right so far. Um, now, the more students that do this, I've only got one student you know one screen here but if we had many students doing this then they'd all be listed down here okay so this is just showing one but it actually does show all the class or all the students you've got in this class at the same time and all the uh, all the data is up, updated live all right, so we're done in real time uh, so question five in your opinion will mobile technology improve education well I think it will 
and great now if we've uh, we've finished that quiz now at this stage depending on how your class is set up if you've got one-to-one uh, -one devices then you could have every kid in the class doing this at the same time or if you've got um, the class doing it as uh, you know maybe two or three devices in the class and it's split amongst students then you can just get whoever whichever student has just completed the quiz to pass it on to the next one they just touch on let another student take the quiz and you'll just get again um, some more data down here below all right but at this stage let's just say we've got all our class data so the teacher can now press end activity all right and over and uh, sorry in a second we've got some options now we can email the report download the report no report or cancel uh, emailing the report basically sends a spreadsheet to it, the email address that you use to register with Socrative uh, if you download the report it'll just open it now so we'll, we'll download it and I'll show you what happens um, open it up and you can see on the student side I'll just go back to that student side has now said right the quiz is over so you've just got to wait for the teacher to start the next activity at this stage you might just tell the students to log out they log out there you go. So the students don't actually need to register for this, just the teacher. Now back on this side here we've got our, our feedback. Um, this is a, a record of how Joe blogs the student performed. So the questions that were given are up the top here. All right, and the answers are given here. Now cool thing about this is if you set a multi-choice question and they get it right, it's given in green. If you set a multi-choice question and they get it wrong, it's given in red. So not only can you see visually automatically which students have got questions right and wrong, there's also a number here of the correct answers that they got All right, and their total score out of 100. So we'll just skip back into it for a second. Um, the other good thing about this now, what you do with that data is up to you. I guess that, that's another conversation, um, but that, that's how it's presented to you. And you can have that emailed to you as a spreadsheet as well. Um, sorry, back to the to the teacher Socrative layout now. Okay, so uh, I'll just cancel out of that, and we'll go back to our main screen. Cancel. Oh, oh sorry. No report. So this was uh, this is the again the teacher home screen. I just want to go down and show you the manage quizzes here. Basically, when you create um, any quiz, it, it gets stored here in this pull down menu. You can also actually create a quiz in Excel, and Socrative has a template that it will, will send you, and you can just plug in your questions and and for the multi choice all the correct answers. So if you've uh, if you've prefer to do it that way, it's up to you. It might be easier for you to store your quizzes in that in that manner. But you've got here. Um, I mean I've only created three quizzes there so not a lot but just getting used uh, started using this and I think it has a, a lot of potential um, I'm probably gonna use it uh, you know to get some feedback normally at the end of a lesson I think would be a good way to, to end a lesson as, a, as an exit pass but also maybe as a starter activity if you train your uh, students into using this properly and uh, they're aware of, of how it works and at the start of the lesson they come in and, and plug in straight away uh, it could be a good one to review what was covered in another lesson. But anyway, I'll leave uh, your thoughts on how it could be used. Um, I'd be interested to hear them if you want to email them through. It'd be fantastic. All right, thank you. Any questions, let me know.